Again, of mothers and babies and others, and we are proposing to Kenya is open for business. And beyond what we are doing with governments, we have made a deliberate decision that going into the future, some of our public programs, we want to partner with the private sector in the delivery of those programs because we believe that private sector can bring on board greater expertise, better flexibility, and they can also mobilize uh, finances uh, from other sources to work with us to see how we can um, deliver some of our programs, deliver public goods in health, in housing, uh, in technology, in cybersecurity, uh, better and in a way that is collaborative. We have a program that we have laid out. I know many of you have worked with Kenya before. We now have a program uh, as a new administration, and we are looking forward to partnership with those of you who have worked with us in Kenya before and those of you who want to work with us in Kenya now. We have made an intentional, deliberate decision to work with the private sector because we believe there is value they can bring on board. We are also consolidating our market beyond Kenya. We are consolidating the market around the ESC with about 300 million people around the tripartite um, free trade area <coughs> and the Africa continental free trade area with a population of 1.2 billion people and a GDP of $3.5 trillion. As you think about investing in Kenya, you should have the horizon of beyond Kenya. And your Kenya can be your launching pad into uh, either the ESC or the tripartite free uh, trade area or the Africa continental free trade area. By 2050, a quarter of the world's population will be living in the African continent. So if you haven't started to think about the future, you better start. That's where the market will be, that's where technology will be, and that's where the action will be. Whatever Kenya can export to Europe, Kenya should export to Israel. Yes. And now that Israel has standardized their phytosanitary and all other requirements with Europe, that has opened now a window for Kenya to export our tea, our coffee, our pineapples, our avocados, and all the other products. And the good news is that we are beginning that journey on the 5th of next month. We have the first landing of pineapples from Kenya in Israel. Um, and, and that should be followed progressively with all the other products. Let me, just to give you some information, Kenya supplies the best tea and the best coffee anywhere in the world. In fact, it is Kenyan tea that is being used to blend teas from other countries to give them some measure of, uh, of flavor. <laughs> so, uh, and, and I'm saying this with all honesty. So if, 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 if instead of uh, shopping around for blended tea or blended coffee from all manner of places, we will supply you with premium, first class, coffee and tea at the same price as you buy the second class or the third class. <laughs> So it 
it was a very important decision by the Israeli government to agree with us that there is absolutely no sense in us selling Kenyan products through Europe because uh, the regulations are, uh, accept our Kenyan products in Europe and then it has to go through a bend to come to Israel. Now that we have agreed that uh, the same rules apply, we will now be exporting our tea, coffee, avocados, pineapples direct to Israel. We have the business of exports between our two countries. We agreed that the current status where we are importing almost eight times in value more from Israel, that we need to even that out so that we can balance trade between our two countries. In any case, we are great friends of many years. So again, uh, for those of you who are in that space, you have some good news uh, uh, from uh, the government of Israel and the government of Kenya. Now it is you to work on the possibilities and opportunities and everything in between. I am happy again that between the government of Kenya and the government of Israel, between my brother Bibi, the Prime Minister of Israel, and myself, we were able to resolve those issues. And we have agreed that the, at the earliest possible, we will reinstate direct flights between Israel and Kenya. <laughs> that again will work towards ensuring that we have uh, people to people travel. We have so many Kenyans coming for pilgrimage in Israel. We have many people from this great country coming to Kenya to explore our tourism products.